My last video was sort of a mistake. It was filmed the morning after my mother and I drove two hours outside of Paris to stay in a small vineyard for the night while I tried to process everything that had just happened to me. That video, the one where I announced that I was taking a gap year, well, it was actually filmed the week after I'd arrived in France, but it was supposed to be the one that I filmed the week before. I know this sounds kind of confusing, but things in Paris didn't exactly play out how I imagined they would. Welcome to episode one of my gap year. find somewhere to eat <laughs> or yeah so one thing I've learned about traveling <laughs> I had come to Paris with an unrealistic ideal of what it would be and feel like before coming I imagined Paris could be a place that I settled down in during my gap year a city where I could live in for a few months and use as a home base. I had this dream of waking up early every morning, going out into the city, having the confidence to order a baguette at the boulangerie around the corner, then going out and exploring, filming videos of myself and feeling like there was a place for me in this large city. But for some reason I'd never felt so isolated and alone. Maybe I'd feel better tomorrow. to go back to Luxembourg Gardens. I spent every summer here as a kid, so maybe a place that reminded me of my childhood would give me the answers I needed for adulthood. Also, this park has an alluring natural beauty to it, and especially this morning with all that nice golden light. So I plan to go around the park, filming myself sitting in chairs. You may ask why, Max, what are you doing filming yourself sitting in chairs around the park in the morning? What is that going to do? Well. To that I say, I was either going to look like a philosopher and have some nice footage of myself thinking, but also maybe by pretending like I had the answers, I would find the answers. Maybe I could think myself to a conclusion and turn on the camera and be able to articulate my grand plan for the next year. <laughs> it may have not been the best plan in the world, but at least I had a smile on my face and I had the confidence to film myself in public again. So at least I knew I was headed in the right direction. I didn't come to any grand conclusions, but what I did instead was decide to reach out to my community. Maybe I was approaching this the wrong way all along. Instead of looking inwards, perhaps I should do the opposite. Maybe I should stop putting pressure on myself to have it all figured out. Why not spend time with people who actually live here? And why not ask them what it truly feels like? Maybe I should let go of all my expectations, hang out with these strangers, and just try to have fun. I thought I lost my keys. <laughs> Oh, 
And so at first I was very ambitious about this meetup. I was excited. I was like, invite everyone. And I wasn't nervous at all. And I was kind of surprised. Because uh, these are a bunch of strangers. You never know what's going to happen. I mean, I have good faith and optimism within humanity, but you never know. So yeah, now I'm actually a bit terrified. Not terrified, I don't know if that's the word. I'm nervous. I was calling my girlfriend earlier and she was like, are you nervous? I was like, nah, I'm not nervous. And then it hit me. <laughs> All right, I'm a bit late, so. Gotta run down. <laughs> According to the Urban Dictionary, the word awkward has been declining since 2012. However, this felt like maybe we could bring it back. I'm <laughs> just kidding. Eventually we warmed up and started to get to know each other. It felt exciting. things we come from the same problems I got rejected like to a fancy uh, school I went to uh, celebration I went to... and the fact that you leave the same thing as like as, as an author and you confront and you grow together yeah it's like I feel you as a friend now but we never met before yeah because I know your life don't mind yeah. but like just a question of matters you know yeah. it's like something that I can, I can relate to and that I think we can all like say it because we all we all lived a moment like you yeah. had we recognize in us in your video yeah. yeah like a teenager growing up uh, it feels relatable that's yeah. the biggest thing it's like in uh, France we say roman d'initiation but like I don't know how to say it in English it's like you go you go to an adventure you discover yourself yeah. through an adventure and not going to, to an adventure but just watching your video feels like going to an adventure so you learn through your adventures yeah. through your travels to maybe one a year and a half ago yeah. like I went to Paris alone I was like I don't know what to do like yeah, uh, yeah you walk you do 10 kilometers a day because like you don't have nothing yeah. else to do you read a book in the in the Louvre it's because it's fancy and so you look like movies yeah. but you just like yeah I'm alone so it's you feel I'm teen like exactly, yeah. your side and seeing other people like party making hard and you're like yeah I want to share this moment with also other people yeah so to go back to my like beginning of my yeah. mental state, showing the real OC, uh, the real high school mm. compared to like what we have in movies. Yeah, it's really really nice because I know friends like had this nostalgia of like, yeah. oh my gosh, my high school was not as good as in the movies, and yeah. they had the depression for that. Yeah. So false expectations. Yeah. yeah because yeah. like everybody is going to say, yeah, it's the best time of your life. Like go go out. 
are fun. Yeah. We had COVID, <laughs> so yeah. you're like my life is not as good. Yeah. Uh, like you don't feel like you had the, the better time of your life in your 20s. Yeah. So you feel like imposter. Like I could have done better. After a few hours of talking, starting to get to know each other a bit better, and of course, drinking. I mean, we're sitting next to the Seine in Paris. It's part of the Parisian experience, I guess. <laughs> At least that's how I justified it to myself the next morning. Not sure what's happening, but they just started dancing. <laughs> that's it. Now I think we're finding a bar. We're finding a bar, right? Yeah? Alright, we're finding a bar. <laughs> Protection Civil. That's so cool. Oh wow. Yes. I don't want a beer, but maybe a cocktail or something. I might try the Cuba Libre. I like Coke. Okay, try some Coke. I'll try it, I'll try it. Never say Coke in Paris. Oh really? It's like the powder you Coca Cola. Oh. <laughs> yeah, Coke. Oh okay, Coca-Cola. <laughs> Coca-Cola. Un nom de ville que nous on peut prononcer. <rire> 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 Pétanque with the police apparently. <laughs> piano piano. I can't tell if I'm drunk or I'm really good at pretend. <laughs> Maybe both. <laughs> Probably. We had so much fun as a group that we decided to hang out the next night. We met up, went through shopping, and ended up sitting right in front of the Eiffel Tower. After that, we played Uno until around 4am in Louis' apartment. But instead of voicing over some profound conclusion about what Paris taught me, I'd like to hear your interpretations. Let me know in the comments. All I know is that I'm personally not ready to come to any conclusions, nor do I want to. If anything, I want to ask more questions, to go feel lost in another city. I want to meet more people, I want to get knocked down. I want to feel everything and not shy away from it. And most importantly, I want to document it and share the stories with all of you. I hope you enjoyed episode one of my gap year. I'll see you soon.
Thank you for watching. Uh, I hope you enjoyed that episode. It was sponsored by my friends over at Skillshare. If you aren't familiar with Skillshare, it's an online learning platform uh, with an emphasis on you know exploring your creativity, seeing where it takes you, and trying out new things. I think that's what I love about Skillshare is, to me, it feels like a companion to any side hobby or passion. I personally just finished up a course a couple weeks ago by Nathaniel Drew. I love the guy. I've taken all of his courses on Skillshare. I think they're great. Um, and this one in particular is about you know documenting your life and finding ways to do that through different mediums, whether it's film, photography, writing, and I don't know. I'm really just fascinated by this concept of taking little time capsules of your life to look back upon someday to just self-reflect um and i really enjoyed the course and i recommend that you check it out along with all the classes on skillshare they're just there's classes on everything there's a class for everyone and to me it's worth the investment within yourself so with that said the first 1000 of my subscribers to click the link in the description will get a one month free trial of skillshare premium so that you guys can start exploring your creativity today. Thank you again to Skillshare for sponsoring this video. I'll see you guys on the next episode. In the meantime, I'll see you guys in Perspectopia. There's a link somewhere in the description to join the Discord server. I'll catch you guys there. Cheers, have a great day.